Check. Hi. I'm on my match in the dark. 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 Coming up next, a UFC Bantamweight tilt. For my money, Mike is the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. More than five years apart, with similar height and some differences in reach. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. The professional. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. Both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded. They have every skill, and that is going to be on display tonight in this key matchup. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Well, that'll quiet the storm. Shot blocked by Lee. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body. Kick. Let's go, 
out, guys. Work. Lee gets hit with a kick. Big head kick lands. Oh, big punch lands. Way to hide that leg kick. Huge block there. Oh, he got that knee to connect to the body, and if you're the defensive fighter here, you got to make sure you don't eat too many more of those. You cannot eat too many. You got to get the elbows inside, because otherwise, you're going to land one. It's going to shut everything down. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Under three minutes remain in round one. You got to whip his hip into that kick. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, big knee to the body. That'll soften him up. Really good accuracy landing that kick. And he landed the right hand there. Great punch. He's very tricky when he throws that body. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Over and over, he's landing a big body kick. Able to check the high kick. And look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. As he gets close and he's out of the kicking range, he'll suddenly he'll change his stance. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Punches there. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Beautiful counter punch. Really settling in when it comes to his counter attack here tonight. And again, making good use of what is a huge advantage in reach. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick there, DC. Beautiful setup to get his leg up there quickly before his opponent can react. Oh! The sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, second round is underway. Your thoughts on what we saw over the first five minutes? I saw a very competitive round. It was very strategic. Expect these guys to really pick it up as we go forward in this fight. Oh, man, head kick land. Switching stances here. Going now, nice connection there, 
DC. Another punch landing. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well that he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Right hand on point. Nice body. Unable to connect with the right hand there. That was a thudding leg kick. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Oh, nice sequence of jabs there turned in by Lee. Well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Punch over the top. Oh, nice right hand. Back and forth we go. Out of range with that one. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Beautiful kick. Strike. Real nice body kick lands. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, a huge block there. Notice the drive. Look at how they drive the knee right into the midsection. Straight right hand, no good. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, he's going to shut your body off. Landed that punch flush. Oh, big head kick lands. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Oh, that right hand is on point. Lance with the right hand. Well, he walked into his opponent's range there and ate that hook. He was unprotected, unguarded, and he's been susceptible to that hook in previous UFC fights. Got to figure out a way to move those feet and ultimately circle out and get that head off the center line. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. That was a jab. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Lee going for the leg kick. He does not connect. Oh, there's the head kick. It's blocked. Twenty seconds to go, round two. A kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Lee. Nice one, two there. Ten seconds to go. Oh, and what a round! All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. 
he's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now moving forward. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Wood Corner was able to relay that message to their fighter better in between rounds. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Big roundhouse now just misses. Blocks the strike. Lunges forward with a left there. How about that shin? Oh, straight left counter. That'll work. Punch coming. It's blocked. Pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to hunt. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture. Rains out, big strike on your opponent. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Lee going for the head kick. No dice. Oh, man like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you see him drive his shin into his opponent. Real sneaky body kick. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Throwing with authority. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Went for the inside leg kick. Nice kick. Just missed with the left there. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Loaded up on that right hand too. Big kick land. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Lee's kick to the body is blocked. 
Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. Beautiful leg kick throw. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, so next round underway here, and you gotta admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Lee. Powerful leg kick lands. How good is that right hand? Liver kick. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Lee's shot is blocked. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head from the clinch. Beautiful body kick. Beautiful punch. Big head kick land. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Lee gets touched by that kick there. Big head kick land. Checks the leg kick. Behind that leg kick. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Checks that leg kick. Oh, nice high kick. Oh, that's a nice strike. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. the straight Wow! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Big leg kick land. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. 
Nice right hand. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Nice. Head kick. Beautiful straight punch there. His boxing fundamentals are just so clean. Oh, he looks so sharp tonight. Left hook to the head. Oh, huge block. Ooh, nice knee to the body. Very nice. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. Losing this fight, if it goes to a decision, you're gonna lose, no doubt. So what are you gonna do about it? All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Caught that kick there. Good stick. Oh, nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. Punch is blocked. Just a slip there. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Checks the leg kick. Big leg kick land. Oh, and he lands the leg kick. The stats are in his favor when it comes to that strike. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Nice knee to the body there by Lee. Under three minutes now to go round five. Oh, big damaging knees here to the body. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence, and when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah. No more risk management. Either get knocked out or you knock him out. One way or the other, you're going to lose. You can lose by decision or you can lose by knockout. But at least when you go for the knockout, you give yourself a chance to try to find your shot. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Oh, nice jab. Nice body kick right over the elbow. Under two minutes now with which to work. Get those combinations going. Move those hands. Single collar tie now. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? 
Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Nice strike. Real quick leg kick. Ground and pound strike. Well, he's up, but he is hoping for certain the finish could come at any time. Oh, what a punch. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Fifteen seconds remain in the round. Final ten seconds of the fight. Going to the body now with that hook shot, nicely done by Lee. Official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50 45. Play the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, so there he is. The celebration is on. He tried to leave the judges out of it tonight, was unable to do that, but a pretty dominant effort nonetheless. He's your winner by unanimous decision. And you've got to feel good about that. You've got to feel good about dominating every aspect of a fight and getting a victory. He should be very proud of his performance tonight.